Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very fun one and I think it might be the last of its kind. But today we are doing a reading vlog, but not any, not just any reading vlog. We are reading Barbarians. <sighs> Why did I think it said Tarmac? Um, we are reading Barbarians Taming. This is the eighth book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series it is also i might be wrong on this i'm not sure i always keep an updated eye on the reprints of these uh with the special edition covers because that's the only way i'm gonna buy them um and i think this might be the last one because i haven't seen anything updated on ruby dixon's page or anywhere else in the internet but i got this while i was abroad and it has been waiting for me it has been waiting for this exact moment to give you guys a spoiler um reading vlog we're in the eighth uh book so there's gonna be spoilers um i guess we just need to get into it the thing about doing these vlogs is these reprints come out like about every six months usually in june and then december and so i could i kind of completely forget about the world of these ice planet barbarians um and so if i'm remembering correctly i believe it was the sixth book ended by finding two girls in pods and they were sisters or there was some sort of relation maybe they were just friends i think they were sisters and the seventh book took care of one of the sisters and then this one is following the other sister i'm pretty sure um so yeah, I, I think that's kind of it. So I'm just gonna read the back of it. This says, there are a million reasons why Hassan and Maddie shouldn't work, but despite it all, they find themselves unable to resist, resist each other. As a newcomer to the alien tribe, I've struggled to find my place. It might be because I'm a tad headstrong at times, and yes, I might've thrown a few things at people's heads, but I had a good reason to pitch a fit. My, sh my shy sister was stolen away right under my nose. Of course, now she's back and mated. Everyone's happy except for me. I need affection, attention. Okay, I'm lonely, really lonely. Strangely enough, the only one who I think understands what I'm going through is the same blue-skinned brute who stole my sister. It's wrong to hook up with him, even as a mindless fling. Except I'm not so good with the whole rules thing, and he's not so great with the fling thing, but maybe there's a chance for us. So I totally forgot Hassan was the one that um, took her sister, which I can't remember the sister's name. I want to say Lila, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I know there's like a, I think there's a, in one of the books, oh wait, here it is. There's a little, um, there's a little, like what is this even called? Like, it's like a family tree, but not a family tree. Let me look. <laughs> okay, I finally found it. The sister's name was Lila. I don't know if I said that, but that's what I was thinking in my head. I promise. I know that sounds fake, but it's true. And she wrote, uh, she mated with Rokan or Rokan in the last book. So now we're here. Now we're here, ready to begin. I will say this is a much shorter book than a lot of the other ones. So I think it'll be quick. Um, and I guess like, let's just get into it. Anyway, I'm already back because the dedication says for all the bossy big sisters out there and if that is just the most true thing as an older big sister. This is an awkward angle but I am reading. I am 30 pages in and so far we're just kind of like getting to know them as characters. Maddie is feeling very out of place. She usually has had to look over Lila but Lila is kind of surviving. She has a mate. I meant thriving, not surviving. And so Maddie's feeling a little out of place. We also have um, a, like, we also have a different um, weight, like, representation within this novel. I have noticed something throughout the series. There has been a lot of, like, representation, whether that be race, class, um, weight. Um, also, like, I, I think we've had... We've had a deaf character, like there's a really interesting amount of diversity within the series, which I think is like, I think that's good on Ruby Dixon. Um, and yeah, um, I will say this made me like actually laugh out loud. Um, Hassan and, Hassan and Maddie are talking because you know, they have to, they have to talk. 
and she says F you and he goes you wish me to F you I accept and that made me actually laugh out loud um, and I'm so excited to continue reading because it seems like this is just gonna be funny he's so he said he's honored that she chose him to be a pleasure mate so um so yeah I'm just gonna keep on reading I am eating a McAllister's cookie right now and I'm drinking my McAllister's water and I am reading my Ruby Dixon Ice Planet Barbarian bug. Ah! Okay, I feel like it is time to update. I they just they just hooked up. And I will say, I do think this is the fastest or like the earliest a hookup scene, like full hookup has happened in this series. And that's definitely because it's like a like a hookup, like or sorry, it's like a friends with benefit type of deal. it's a fling but this just ended with i'm never going to let her go so hassan is like he's whipped and maddie is just thinking that this is just like something for fun so really interested to see how that dynamic is gonna go because they're at different places right now but honestly writing was phenomenal people definitely heard them is all i have to say hey guys it's been a while but we are going to come back to this book i it's been a couple weeks honestly and i don't even remember where we were at so this is definitely going to be an adventure i think i already said this but i think this might be my last one of these because i don't think she's publishing anymore pretty sure i saw that online somewhere I need to double check now i'm pretty sure this is the last one i'm gonna try to figure out where we were at and i'm pretty sure we ended where she was like okay we have a friends with benefits thing going on and he was like she's mine so I'm going to read a little bit and then I'll update as I go. I found where I left off. I am at chapter six. I read a couple chapters just now and we, it's post them hooking up. Maddie is just looking for a like casual thing, friends with benefits. Hassan is looking for a mate immediately after they, immediately after they conclude their activity, um, he's like pleasure mates and she's like, friends with benefits and personally I'm kind of like it's the same thing like it's basically the same thing so just say yes just be his pleasure mate but also like I respect her and I also respect him because he didn't tell her that he wanted commitment so I understand her point of view but then also for him I'm like she didn't explain her side either so miscommunication a little bit i will say this one i don't know if i'm just it's been such a long time since i've read any of these books this writing feels really elementary compared to the other ones at least from like what i'm remembering and like i i could be like misreading but i feel like the no i guess it's present tense so it's not that's not switching but at points i'm like I put on my fur because it's cold outside the next day like I don't I don't know how to explain it, it just doesn't really flow that well um but I'm still like Ooh, okay they're out in the they're they're out in the like the forest area it's not a forest though they're outside of the tribal cave because Hassan is exiled and so she's going out because she's like he was gonna teach me to hunt but then I had sex with him and so now he's not teaching me to hunt what do I do and then they just met up again, so I'm excited to see what happens. Han and Maddie are continuing the friends with benefits thing. He's teaching her how to hunt, but they're also just like sleeping together. And her sister, Lila, the one that Hassan stole in the last book because he wanted to resonate to Lila. He, or she just came back after like harvesting some fruit, which was like they found fruit in the last book. And so Maddie just went to tell Lila, like, hey, I just wanted to let you know so there's no surprises, me and Hassan are friends. And Lila is, like, kind of freaking out because she's a little uncomfortable with him still, which, understandable. Um, and Maddie's kind of like, oh, like, mm, this isn't good. And so she left, she said bye to Lila, who Lila is pregnant now. And she's feeling bad because she understands that he was, like, her sister's captor. But she's also, like, 
you know, she's falling. She doesn't understand that, but she is. Okay, I think I might take a break. It is almost nine right now, and we're at chapter 11. And I don't know, we got like a good bit through it. Um, Something like really big just happened actually, and I wanted to stop a little earlier, but after that happened, I was like, I have to keep on reading. Their cave, they have two caves, one like big tribal cave and then another one because they they were there were too many people so i think that one's called the south cave if i'm remembering correctly but rokan lila's mate the couple from the book prior to this he has a sort of like knowing where it's like a psychic ability of sorts and there was a point when he's like talking to hassan and he's like is everything okay? And it sounds like, yeah, it was a little smoky out there or hazy, but like, yeah. And then all of a sudden the cave collapsed and he like, he saves Maddie because of course she had to be the damsel in distress. And then he comes out and then he's like, oh, there's still a guy in there. And so he goes in, he saves him, he gets hurt. And now they're trying to figure out what to do because their cave collapsed because of a volcano earthquake type thing. And so it's actually like that was kind of interesting i do employ like i do really enjoy the like science fiction slash fantasy elements of this series like there is a fun plot is it like good i don't know but is it fun yes and so i think i'm going to take a pause on this so we'll come back eventually but yeah that's update okay hey guys it is sunday night i'm ready for bed but this thing it has been so long since I picked up this book. I don't remember where I was at. So we're gonna read it. First, I'm gonna see if I can figure out where I left off. So one second. Okay, I think I remember kind of where I was at. Um, she and Hassan are. And, sorry, but they are. And she like kind of told lila that they were like friends and lila kind of reacted poorly obviously and now all the guys are like kind of courting her because they want mates but she doesn't like it so her and hassan are in a little cave together i may have already read this but i'm gonna start here and just see because it's been a while so I'll let you guys know if anything happens. I will say she just said, let's have sex during an emotional moment. And I'm thinking Hassan. Well, nope. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna bite. So, literally. I just remembered that the, like, cave, like, collapsed. Okay, I've definitely read this. It's about to happen. I'm gonna continue reading. Okay, so the cave, like, Caved in. Sorry, that's stupid. Because of a volcano. And so, there was one person that died. And they're all like, we need to figure out where to go. We need to figure out where to go. Hassan, you need to do the, like, longest journey. Because you have no family. Maddie volunteers to go with him. And so, that's where we're right now. I will say, I'm not enjoying this one as much as other books that I've read from this series. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. I might just get be getting burnt out from it. I'm like this is an eight book, and I've really enjoyed all of them. But this one, I'm just like, what's the point? I mean, now the point is to find another place to live. But I'm kind of like, <sighs> and I think that's probably why it's taking me so long to read. But I'm gonna continue reading. I feel like I should vlog. It is the next day. I just realized my earring back is missing, so I need to add that before I lose the earring. But I just got back from having a pretty productive morning, and so I read before I left for hot yoga, and now I'm going to finish this book, finally. So, I'm very excited about this. Okay guys, I finished the book, rating it 3 out of 5 because that's what I rate all of these books. I will say, it was pretty good. It ended with them starting to travel to the other like cave that they found that her and 
Hassan found. Is that even his name? Yeah. Um, they resonated. She's pregnant. I don't even know. That's pretty it. That's pretty much it. I'm kind of glad to be done. I don't know if there's actually going to be any more of these books published in paperback. So I guess we'll see. But I'm going to leave this here. So if you've read this series, let me know. Peace and love. Bye, guys.